left. Into six left, long, 40. Four right short, 40. Slowing, five left, into three right. Into early three left, 30. Five right, half long. And right of a crest. And four right sharp. And two left short and five right. Into four left short, 30. What's up Sim Racers, Larry TJ or Sim here and today I have a new product from GSTP Racing and uh, this is actually a handbrake as you can see. I just did a review on their sequential and H pattern shifter, it was a dual combo. You could actually buy them as a package on their website. I'll leave the my affiliate link, I do have an affiliate link with them, I'll leave that in the description. Uh, if you'd like to use that to help out the channel, I'd greatly appreciate it helps me uh, be able to buy more products and to review view them for you and give you my honest opinion now this is not uh, reviewed by anybody before publishing this is of my own thoughts and and um, uh, opinions of this product so yeah from there let's dive on deeper so you'll see here I have this a little bit late, loose here because I had removed the screws to reveal the insides of it right so we'll dive into that here in a second but however I would encourage you to look at the website because there's actually quite a few options of this they have options where you could get a heavier duty spring I don't have one uh, I asked for them to send me one so I can do a follow-up review uh, so I can uh, see how the forces change. As you can see, I've actually just, you don't know yet, but if you were to play around with this, this is adjustable as far as the strength goes, but I've adjusted it to where I, I like it much better than how it comes stock out of the box. But uh, yeah, they have a every duty to spring and they also have like a clamping system for a desk clamp that you could use. So I'll just show you off of my phone real quick, but I would suggest you check out their website uh, and uh, see what options best for you so some different price ranges that one's like 79.99 which makes sense you get some clamps and stuff they also have some more interesting versions they even have uh, a different h or different uh, e-brake handle that's uh that would be mounted straight up and down uh to where you'd pull it towards you with a clamping system on it as well uh and it looks like it would work a little bit easier with say using a uh, a uh uh, Delron or, or rubber, a rubber uh, uh, um, a collar in there basically to compress like you would have in say your Husenfelds, uh, having a rubber elastomer that you would compress in there to add some resistance force. This is certainly robust enough to handle extra force in my opinion um, because just of the thickness of how this this unit is. So, uh, so let's jump into to what I see out of this thing. So. Um, First, I don't really, I didn't know what this little hook was for first. I then later kind of figured out that it, if you pull it in a little bit and hook it, it kind of keeps this lo uh, locked in to where you can just adjust your uh, tension here. You don't need to use it. It's just kind of a neat little thing on there to do, but you could easily remove it off of this one screw and not ever use it again uh, if you don't like the way it looks. But uh, these come in. And, uh, of course, this red that you see here, right? This Amadaz red, have black and blue uh, on the website. They all look good. I asked for red when they reached out to me to review the their products. And uh, because I, I got some red stuff on my on my rig, and then this kind of matches really nicely. So, appreciate getting a red one. Now, this one, for, for reference, this is the $59.99 version. I don't have the upgraded spring or the upgradable spring in there. Again, hopefully I'll get that in the mail. Um, Maybe they'll send me the uh, adaption kit too so I can show how that just mounts up. But not necessary. I think it's pretty easy for you to understand how you can desk clamp this. Uh, but yeah, out of the box, it's really high. I, get a, I got a great impression of this. So I love the color contrast of the red and the black, right? Nice anodization on here. It's not paint. It's anodized. Uh, really thick uh, aluminum or, or steel plate. They actually say it's... Uh, they say it's steel, so um, yeah, it's it's all steel construction. So yeah, it's it's a nice 
nice quality work here. They do a really good job on the anodization of this. I'm, I'm actually I'm really digging it, right? So, uh, but yeah, nice color contrast. No, mounting wise, it didn't come with hardware for this one. I believe the uh, the seventy nine ninety nine one does come with some hardware, but I would encourage you that you'd probably get your own bolts and T nuts if you're going to an eighty twenty rig or or buy the desk clamp for it if you're going to a desk and stuff. Uh, and then of course, you probably would want to leave the resistance alone if you're on a desk, depending on how strong your desk is. You might pull your desk down because uh, you can add quite a bit of force with this when you start adjusting, adjusting this. Or if you change out the spring and then add some more adjustments, it's going to be a little bit more resistance, right? Or a lot more resistance in that case. But yeah, um, I like the mounting adaption kits. It looks like around 3 eighths of an inch thick plate, which is way more than you need for this thing. So I could see how you could, uh, you know, I'd want to add some uh, elastomer dampeners, dampers in here and just kind of stack them and see what uh, what it feels like. So, but yeah, it's pretty pretty cool that you can uh, go further with this. You can go to your hobby shop and pick up extra springs if you want to switch out, but you at least got a basis, right? So $59.99 for a basis or $79.99 for a basis with a spring. That may just be completely fine with you, but if you want to, see how far you can go you can always visit your local hobby shops and and uh see if you can get some sizable springs or some elastomer dampers in there to uh to uh fool around with right but yeah nice cover plate here on the back that's held on with a socket head cap screw that goes all the way through here uh now what the purpose is of this is to adjust this travel length so if you want this lever closer to you you have some adjustment here with this uh, socket head cap screw to bring it inwards or further out and when it comes out of the box it's it's quite a bit further out uh, but I wanted it a little further so this is where I liked it uh, there is some uh, little worry about when you have this mounted on here correctly uh, you do run into some limitations with how close you can bring it to you because uh, you'll you'll basically hit it it's actually quite strong to do it here by hand without mount it but you could hit this plate which I did <laughs> a few times from banging it around so Nicked it, a, nicked it a little bit there. Not a big deal for me. Uh, but yeah, just something to keep in mind. This is actually a carbon fiber wrap, as you can see. But it's nice quality carbon fiber, actually, as far as a wrap job goes. And they did a really good job wrapping it. Now, this is a 64-bit uh, PCB hall sensor. Uh, or the PCB uh, is, is used as far as measuring your travels from a hall sensor. So long-lasting components here on this, which is really good. This USB braided cable, I believe, is 140 centimeters long. It's a nice nylon braided cable. Uh, it looks like this is something they probably upgraded. Uh, it's, of course, hot glued in. And I like that because if I ever break the cable or damage the cable, pinch it or whatever, I can replace the cable and hot glue another one in there. So, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. That's important, I think, for sim racers because uh, we tend to be pretty hard on our equipment. So yeah, very nice. But yeah, nice clean board. I'm not an electrical engineer, I'm a mechanical engineer, so I couldn't tell you anything about all those resistors. I am somewhat of a computer nerd, but yeah, this is out of my realm. <laughs> so, but yeah, uh, really cool. I like it, simple. I, I, uh, I go for the, the KISS method, if you know what that stands for. So keeping it simple, silly, <laughs> but yeah. Nice and robust. Uh, has some threaded holes here. I don't really don't know what that's for on there. Um, maybe it's if you wanted to put this handle on this side. It looks like you could. You could put it here to uh, have it lock in this way. Uh, like I said, this isn't very necessary in my opinion. You could remove it, but it looks kind of neat. Magnet here for your hall sensor reading. Uh, and then you got your adjustability here. So you have your two screws here where you can, of course, lower it, lower it, lower it, lower it. And of course, as you lower it, your moment arm goes much further down, which of course makes it harder to pull. Uh, so that's actually a quick way to increase your resistance as well. However, if you're in a rig where you want to reach it like a, like a uh, handbrake that's up higher, right? Depending on your needs, uh, you'll want to keep it adjusted up. So I adjusted mine slightly down a little bit. Um, but yeah, this is, no, actually, I'm sorry. I kept mine uh, up, but I made my uh, angle closer to me. So down in that regard. All right. So again, nice thick, looks like about three eighths of an inch. These little um, 
plates here that are all all machined in as one piece so very sturdy <laughs> uh, piece here uh, that looks about a quarter of an inch of course you got about a half inch thick plate here so this is definitely more robust or way overkill uh, in my opinion of what you need but man this is this is built tough here I like it uh, there's not a lot of play as far as side to side play a little bit it's really just between this pin here because you got this floating pin that you know locks this in place uh, but yeah you have a little bit of uh, slop between the two kind of hard to see here on camera you will feel it for sure uh, when you have it mounted because your mowing arm is much higher right and so you'll be able to you can probably see it now on camera a little bit of extra uh, slop there way better in my opinion if I had to compare it to something I'd compare this to say the Fanatic handbrakes right that's uh, your entry level handbrake I think that sells for $99.99 to me, this, this kind of blows that one away as far as value goes and rigidity and strength of this. Um, easy to mount up. Definitely more robust construction. All steel. Looks way better. <laughs> Pissed apart, right? Uh, and, uh, yeah, uh, and the strength-wise, uh, out of the box, from what I'm remembering from the Fanatic, it's about the same pull strength in the beginning. Uh, but there's not much adjustment on the Fanatic, and I've played with it quite a bit a long time ago and eventually advanced on to something else but it was a great entry level handbrake got the job done as well but this does too and it does it looking better um, now I'm an affiliate for for both of these right so but I just give it to you as I as I see it and from my experience with these different products right um, what else adjustment length here strength length are there any bad things about this? So let's get in since I covered the basics of this 64 bit hall sensor, like I mentioned, or if I didn't mention it, 64 bit hall sensor. Um, let's get into some pros and cons real quick. So, all right. Cons. Let's knock those out of the way. Uh, a little bit of slack here just because of that. Some tolerance in really basically is all it is. It's, I can see it. It's hard to see it in the camera. But just a little bit of tolerance in there, not a big deal. I'm being very picky. <laughs> uh, another thing is you are limited by your travel back uh, based on uh, on this being in the way, right? So you can only travel so far back before you'll hit that plate, right? Um, and not a big deal, but that's something I noticed, right? Uh, the other thing is, is the action is not quite as smooth uh, as this bearing here. This, uh, see if you can get in there. Yeah, the bearing underneath the socket head cap screw, their metal bearing that's sliding within this slot, is not as smooth action as as uh, it has a little bit more friction factor, right, between the two. Now I haven't scarred up the anodization on it, so it hasn't been too big of a deal. But your initial bite point right so when you initially pull on this you're pulling it a little bit in a downward moment and then it's sliding along that slot and then back up up into position when you release it right so there's a little bit of friction in there not too big of a deal but again price point keep your price in mind 59.99 uh it's nothing to uh really complain about in use i do notice it slightly only because I have so many reference points, uh, I think. So if I go to look at my Husenfeld, which is, oh gosh, uh, many times greater in price uh, than, than this shifter, right? Um, yeah, of course I'm going to notice a difference, right? Uh, but for the price point, I like this. This is good. Uh, I love reviewing entry-level types of products that can get people into sim racing without breaking their pocketbook. So, but yeah. That's really the only uh, few cons I saw. Three cons, right? Bunch of pros. Uh, so let's go get into the pros now. So pros is extremely robust, over-designed uh, piece of equipment. Very thick flanges. Could have been much smaller, I think. Probably could have got away with a quarter inch in here as well, but uh, very well engineered as far as strength goes. Uh, nothing, nothing bad to say about that, right? So... Uh, you, uh, you got high, high adjustability here as far as height goes. You got your adjustability for your travel. 
Uh, you can adjust your spring tension here. You could exchange your spring out for a different one. Go to a local hobby shop, find some springs, throw them in there, try them out. You could use some uh, elastomer dampers in there if you wanted to. Uh, something similar like you would see on the Husenfeld uh, uh, dampeners. And uh, yeah, or you could uh, get the, the kit that has the extra spring in there as well from them. So, uh, and then of course, the pros with the hall sensor, uh, braided cable. Yeah, really good stuff here. Uh, for the price point for $59.99, it's, it's, it's a really good deal. I would definitely get this over some other uh, less expensive options. So, but yeah, that's that's really all I got to say about this. this is a, a nice piece. I like it. Uh, looks the part and uh, looks really cool on the rig, actually. But uh, a good price point and, and good value. So, yep, that's all I have uh, on this product or on the GSTP products uh, as they develop more I will definitely try to review them and bring them to you um, I, I'm interested in their other handbrake option that they have as well that's uh, designed slightly different than this one uh, maybe I can get that in to review as well for you just to give you some comparison between the two handbrakes though but yeah uh, leave some comments uh, below like and subscribe uh, it really helps out the channel and algorithm of YouTube to get this out to more viewers that would be interested in some more entry-level uh, products to get them on the sim racing road. The the uh, the, the uh, I want to say the uh, the sickness of sim racing, but it's not. It's actually uh, it's a hobby, right? So we have a lot of fun with this, but you got to start somewhere, and uh, I think this is a great starting point for handbrake. So yeah. I'll leave the rest out with a video of me using this with WRC, the new WRC. Had a lot of fun with this and the H pattern shifter that I reviewed. Uh, links in the description as well or in the thumbnail. And I used, was using sequential mode with that and, of course, uh, this bad boy here. So that's it. I'll see you next time. I'm out. Good luck.
up crest, late four left, through dip, caution, six left of a crest, seven, three right, into slight left of a crest, 60. Five left short, through dip, 40, six left of a crest, long, tightened. Up three right, long, 40, slowing, slight left. Up two right, long. Sharp. Don't cut, and late three right, and left of a crest, 40, right of a crest, and six right, slowing, 50, turn, acute temp in left, 30, six left of a crest, it's a dip, it's a five right, Right left of the crest, it's a slight right, 40. Six left of the crest, 50. Crest, and late five right. Into five left, tightens of the crest, to sudden four right. And crest, and late five left of the crest, 30. Crest, and five right, 40. Four left of the crest. Up three right, and late four left, Titans of a crest, 40. Three right short, to five left, into slight right. Slowing, into crest, 50, air pin right. 40. Left sharp, 30, 1 left, 40. Turn, head in right. 70. Crest, into sudden 5 right, tightens. And 3 left. And 4 right. And slight left. Into right of a crest, 40, 4 right short, into sudden, half in left, 30, 2 right, half long, tightens, into 4 left, opens, into 6 left, long, and left of a jump, 30, 3 right, and 6 left, into 2 right short, into 1 left, opens, Sharp to four left short, 40. Three right, and one left short into three right. To slight left, pass junction, and late, hairpin left. And five right, into six left, into right of a crest, and slight right, and late, one left, and three right, keep in. Into four left, opens. Into left of a crest. Sudden two right, opens. Into slight left of a crest, 30. Four left sharp. Into three right, half long, 30. Three left, opens of a crest. Into slight left, slowing, 30. Turn square right, long. Opens. of a crest, 30, 4 right sharp, into 2 left, into 6 left, long, 40, 4 right short, 40, slowing, 5 left, into 3 right, into early 3 left, 30, 5 right, half long, and right of a crest, and 4 right sharp, and 2 left short, and five right, into four left short, 30. Four right, into four left of the rest, tightens three, long, over six, long. And left of a big crest, to slight right, 50. 